Well, Minnesota is home, as you know, to some great local music groups. Yes, and we asked you to tell us your pick for the best live music venue to hear them. Kay Raditz is in downtown Minneapolis, and Kay, you didn't have to go far in this one. No, I didn't, Amelia. You know, the answer to this week really shouldn't be a huge surprise to anyone as First Avenue here, this corner, is really not only an iconic place here in downtown Minneapolis, but really to all over the world now as they bring through everyone from local up-and-coming acts to major stars. At first glance, this building at the corner of First Avenue and 7th Street in Minneapolis wouldn't warrant a second look. But if you have a minute, check out the eclectic collection of names inside each of the stars on the outer wall. Each one represents a live show that happened here, making First Avenue more of a music time capsule than a club. And it's been keeping the beat in Minneapolis for nearly 40 years. The club has been good at bringing in a wide variety of entertainment and artists over the years who've never been pigeonholed as like a heavy metal club or a hip hop club. General Manager Nate Kranz has been booking artists at First Avenue for nearly 20 years, but his memories of this place go back to when he was a kid. Oh, I remember the first time I came in, I saw the band Lemonheads. I knew there was something magical when I came in and I got right up in the front row against the barricade and was able to watch the show and it was just amazing the intimate experience that it was to be here versus my other concert experiences. And it's those concert experiences that make those, albeit sometimes foggy, music memories. I ain't got no money. And it was amazing. Kranz recalls when Prince performed there in 2007. I mean, easily the best concert that I ever, best concert experience I've had. But it may have been Prince's appearances off stage that helped raise the club's level of cool. Many, many times over the years, I, you know, would assist with getting him into the club and up into the owner's box. That alone, I think, would always just change the whole vibe in the room. People knowing Prince was, was, was here. But many other Minneapolis sound artists cut their teeth at First Avenue, such as Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, Sheila E. and the Jets. I know. And the other big time Minnesota artists with humble beginnings here are as many as the stars on the, well, walls. The people that come in here know the history of the building with Prince and the replacements and Husker Du and the kind of legendary bands that were coming up in the 80s and graced our stage. In a way, First Avenue has come full circle. Originally built as a Greyhound bus station. And the snow outside of First Avenue. Now tour buses pull in. The bands pull up, they, they know the venue, they see all the stars on the wall, so they're aware of the history when they're walking in the door. And history is what it's really all about. So you can brag to your friends and say you saw them when. New Year's as as the depot. Is that weird? <laughs> that's Guar. <laughs> and that's Showbiz at the best live music club in Minnesota. That's Showbiz, and uh, they do hope to expand the music, bring it to other parts of the city. Their plan, they're hoping, is to open an amphitheater now in North Minneapolis. They do have a location picked out uh, along the river, but uh, again, not a done deal. But they said if that goes according to plan, that would open in 2019. That oh, would cool. be fantastic. All right. All right. Pretty cool, yeah. Thank you, Kate. Thanks, Kate. And next Thursday at 10, we're looking for the best horse riding stable in Minnesota. You can vote right now in our online poll at WCCO.com slash best of MN.